Hello. Hello, everybody. Hello, Wilsonia. Hello, Nizzy. Hopefully, you can hear me and you can see the stream working properly and you're able to get into chat because I was worried my, some, some things might be breaking, but who knows? Um, how is everybody doing? We're back. It's a Saturday. We First weekend without F1. I don't have to say, say that Verstappen has got polls. Good stuff. <laughs> Football is back. Well, men's football is back. The women's football... I missed both games, actually, this morning because uh, I was a bit tired. But I'm up tomorrow for the Sweden game, of course. Sweden-USA, the big one. But, yeah, the championship's back. Bundesliga 2 is already back, but there's a second French League 2's back. Well, I guess the, the 92 are back. There's lots of football. Lots of football this weekend. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, how is everybody? How's everyone's weekend been? Has everyone been up too much? Uh, me and Chloe, Chloe have been working actually, both Friday and Saturday. Um, although today wasn't too bad, but otherwise we've been not been up too much. Just well, I, I got Baldur's Gate finally. I it took. Oh my god! I finally downloaded it. 122 gigs. I started downloading it fr from five on the Thursday. <laughs> Um, and then stopped for the stream, of course, and then I left it to, to, to download overnight, and I wasn't able to play it until, like, midday on Friday. So, uh, it took something like, like, four, three, three and a half, plus, like, 15, 16 hours to download, uh, on this internet. Yeah, which was quite fast, actually, hilariously, compared to what I was expecting. Um... But yeah, ridiculous. But yes, we're back for another season with Barry. We're currently in November, so a little bit ahead of uh, the start of the season. Not as far as we usually go, but we've got some stuff to go through. Lots of, uh, well, busy, a busy off-season, actually. Um, we've sold a good few players, a few bigger players, actually. Um, so first up, we sold Lothar Kuhlman, a player I thought was going to be coming into the first team, but there was too many midfielders. And I went, yeah, it's time to, to cash in. 30 million to Sosia Dad, bought him for 2 million, easy stuff. Uh, Souza also left, his contract was running out, 27 years old. Could only get 30 million for him, which was a shame, seeing as we got him for 12.75. But off the Lido he goes. Um, Diego Campo, also another one. Uh, rejected 30 million from AC Milan, so I got him for 27.5 to Inter. I couldn't uh, live without my one, oh. Nizzy, you rub it in my face so much. You rub it in my face so much. I did actually play Baldur's Gate as well. I've been playing it a bit uh, today. And I played it a little bit uh, yesterday. But it's good fun. I've been about six hours into it. Um, wow, what a clear out. It is a clear out. It is a clear out. Um, but yeah, I'm, 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 a, I'm a wood elf druid. Yeah, it's got, um, I'm still very much in the early starts of the game. So it's been fun. Can't help it. <laughs> um, also, Hambo. There is no more Hambo emote. Hambo has gone. His contract was up. He wasn't getting played as much. He did He did very well last year, but only 15 games compared to the previous years. He was really sort of starting to, to, to slow down. So I thought, let's bring in the new strikers, let them develop. Off goes Hambo. He's doing okay for Bayern, but I thought it's time. It's time. And off Hambo goes. Chavez also for 15. Lot, lots of sort of um, low knees. To be fair, as you can see, the entire page here is all... At least 29 people sold. There's Well, how, how many people sold for money was there? There was a total of 34 peep sales for, for money. It's a it's a Chelsea-style clear-out for 218 million. And then a few loans, of course. Uh, we've brought in just a couple of players here. Uh, Lucchesi, our Italian midfielder. Uh, Ayub, a Moroccan right midfielder. Philippe Moses, a, another... Well, Nigerian midfielder, but turning into a striker. Uh, and Ricardo Sanchez, a Colombian goalkeeper. So, yes, but we have actually brought a few good few players back from their loans. So they are now contributing with us. So let's show you them first off. We've got Eduardo Rodriguez. He's got his Spanish nationality, our Argentinian centre mid. He will be helping to replace Souza uh, and De Camp uh, Ocampo. Pretty decent, only 21 here. Fantastic player there. We also have Roman Amaya, another Argentine midfielder, 23 years old. No one wanted him to go when I wanted him to go on loan. He's actually wanted by clubs for transfer, but yeah. So he's getting a few games here and there. Uche Akinade, uh, a French midfielder, very good defensive midfielder. I think he's sort of Catanillo men on replacement. So he's been playing a few games for us uh, this season so far. Haki Uenik. A Turkish left back who's got his work permit, so he's going to be playing for us. Also, Luis Carlos and him will be playing right back, so I've decided to get both of them 
sort of rotating between those two. Also, Borselli joins as a striker. 21 years old Italian. He was the one that had that incredible season at, at Toulouse and has been doing pretty well out on loan. So he's come back this year to see how he does. Um, also, Pietro Bianchini uh, comes back from loan to try and sort of... Well, he's a technical midfielder, but we're going to make him a striker. Um, only played the one game so far, but he's sort of, I guess, Hambo's replacement. German, stri German winger that's con converted to a striker. Um, and was there any others? Um... Oh, yeah, B B Hakim uh, Bouhalal, uh, French centre-back. Pretty decent, actually. He's uh, got an appearance. He came back from SM Khan. I thought, yeah, we'll have him as a as a backup centre-back. So, yeah, we've got a bit of, a few youngsters back. Um, but, yeah, uh, let's go through the schedule. We started with a Super Cup win over Inter Milan, 4-1. Very nice. 2-0 uh, over Goitra. 1-0 over Mal uh, Milan. Have a whisper. <laughs> 4-1 over Newtown, 2-1 over Have for West. Braga was a 6-0 uh, Champions League win. Port Talbot back-to-back -back in the league and the Cup Saitama OP. <laughs> Saitama with the only win against us, yes, in, in, in the friendlies. They're too strong. They are the Asian Champions League winners. Well, they have been recently. Uh, Galatasaray was a 3-1 win. We have a roll-off from a player scoring against us there. Third, no, 3-0. Um, Celtic in the Champions League, 5-2 win. 2-1 over Carmathon. A 4-1 win over Panevon, and we've got Banger City, Celtic, Tom Pentra, and Haver for West in the Premier League Cup semi-final, which will be a difficult one because it's international break. So we'll see how that one goes today. Um, in the league, we are currently 8 for 8. Port Town, but only the one lost to us so far. So also Afton Lido quite close behind us. Goitra having a fantastic time. Four wins, four losses. Obviously, Haverford West, Aberystwyth, and Pennybon aren't having the best of seasons so far. Hello, Odd. Hello, how are you? How's it going, man? Um, but yeah, I think was it third no and was it Goitra that came up and Goitra expected seventh? It's very odd. I don't understand what's going. TNS still not back in the leagues, um, which is something. And then Champions League, we've only played three games so far, but we are top of our group. Um, I didn't notice have West being third in their group there. Afanlido on bottom of their group. Afanlido, you're fucking embarrassing. <laughs> Why are the Welsh side so embarrassing in Europe, man? Ruining our coefficient. Absolutely ruin it. Port Talbot at least a second. Have a West a third. They've uh, draw, drawn one loss. What? Oh, Jesus Christ, boys. Shocking. Well, is the Europa League any better for our boys? Um, Penny Bond are top. You love to see it. And Aberystwyth with our top. You love to see it. And I think who else came at third? There was there another Europe, Europa League. No, only two. Is there normally a, there's normally a third team that goes into there. Penny Bond, Nuremberg. I guess not. I guess not. Um, hello, Diego. It's going well. It's going well. How are you? How is how's everybody's weekend been? Yeah, I've, been, I've just been playing a lot of Baldur's Gate three, which is quite fun. Uh, it's different. It's different to get it. Like it's a, one of those. It's a, I'm, you have to focus on it a lot more than you do with FM. You can kind of put FM down every once in a while. And be like, ah, oh, yeah, it's all good. It's all good. <laughs> um. But yeah, there you go. Um, okay, let's see. Good, I'm going into preseason for season ten. Damn, are oh, you flying through? How? How? What? Where's the? What's the progress so far with it? Um, as, as we say, progress. I'll show you the other leagues. Uh, league, uh, we're now back on top. Ongers lead, but with PSG, Monaco, Lille, all within three. FC is within four. Uh, it's all very close at the top there. Uh, Serie A, AC Milan, Virgil Vicenza, Inter, Barry, Roma. And even Solano, top six within two points of each other. So, very close. And Catania probably even four points in. Uh, and there's a bit of a gap to third. Uh, so, so, an eighth there. Bit of a... Bit close. Bit close. Uh, La Liga, Barcelona and Real. Oh, it's a two... We're going back to the Barca-Real dominance, it seems. Um, with Vel Vela did trying to hang on there. Um, made CL groups in Season 8 and Europa League groups again in Season 9. Haven't got third or higher, but did win one that... 7-1. Seven, 1-7 one. One, seven in Russia? Nice. Very decent. Uh, the German First Division, Bayern are on top, but Nuremberg and Köln are very close. Uh, even Paderborn are close at the moment, but it is early days. Only 10 games in. And the Premier League. What is going on in the Premier League? It is Arsenal on top again. Liverpool maybe maybe sort of stemmed the tide a little bit, I feel, but I feel like the Arsenal domination is going to continue. Only six goals conceded all, all season so far. Three were to Liverpool in a 3-1 uh, loss. So who knows? Um... Also did this in qualifying in season nine. Let's have a look at this. What is this screenshot of? 7-0 over Pristina. Jeez. Seven shots on target. Wow. 100%. Shot, shot, that's incredible. 
<laughs> Fantastic. Um, but yeah, um, Gosport sitting 14th at the moment, though. Um, what else is going on? Stockport in 6th as well, which is kind of crazy. Um, championship, meanwhile, Man United are currently in the relegation zone with Everton. Well, they were going straight back down because obviously they came up from League One uh, last year. They did, well, I guess they did, uh, did they do two promotions in a row? They must have. Yeah, I think they must have then. Two, two promotions in a row for United. So the new management obviously have it. But Luton and Tottenham are currently top of the table. Hampton and Richmond have sort of been a playoff team for a good long while, but always fail. Whitehawk are not doing the best in 10th after getting relegated last year. West Ham sitting 15th there. Didn't notice that. Interesting. Okay. Um... Yeah, no, they, had, they, had, oh, they they finished ninth. So it was a promotion, season promotion. Oh, weekend has been r good ruined by seeing AJ's fighting Swams. I don't know who Swams is. Apparently, so boxing falling off. <laughs> I I heard that um, wasn't it? Joshua versus White got called off because White failed a a drugs test or something. I don't know, something like that. But yeah, don't know. Um, but yes, so. Oh, champion, European qualifying. There has been some qualifying going on here. Um, let's show you what's been going on here. It's a very interesting qualifying so far. Serbia currently top in Group A. Um, seven wins and one draw with Montenegro. Turkey four points back. I think if Serbia get one more point, they are automatically qualified. Uh, Denmark currently top Group B over Portugal. Uh, obviously, Portugal lost to Northern Ireland there. Um Denmark did draw one game with Portugal. I think they got another game to play, though, so that's going to be a huge one there. But they are currently three points clear of them. Is a UK rapper who has a one-on-one -on -one record in influencer boxing. Why is he fighting him, then? That's an odd one. Um, Ukraine are currently top in Group C with... It's all very close, actually. Czech Republic in second and Wales in third, all within three points of each other. Uh, even Belarus have 13. Yeah, Whitefelder test. Jo Joseph R. says a Stephen Barry AJ promoters ducking the court. Oh, Jesus. It feels like, yeah, it's a, the, the wrestling scene, it's like, it would be good if it wasn't just all politics about who to fight who and all that sort of stuff. Like, you can't ever get, like, the best versus the best. It's all just, it's always just like, oh, no, it's got to be in certain situations, blah, 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 blah. Um, but, yeah. Um, yeah, okay, sorry. Uh, Greece also top of Group uh, D over Russia, but with a game in hand over them. Um, because Russia obviously lost to Hungary and Greece. Um, and then we've got Group E, Spain top uh, by a clear way, actually. Um, only the one loss to Sweden uh, for them. Netherlands top in Group F, six wins from six. Very easy for them. Belgium already qualified uh, at the moment um, over Slovenia currently. Croatia top over France. France have dr lost to Croatia and drawn with Georgia. And Croatia, France have to play again. Uh, so that's a huge one, actually. Uh, so we'll to see how that goes. Um, Romania also top in uh, Group I over Italy. Uh, they beat Italy and they, well, I guess, they, yeah, they lost it. Romania lost to Italy, but Romania got revenge and got one. And they both drawn once to Bulgaria, once to Poland. So huge situation going on there. Italy do have a game in hand. I assume they go top with the win on there. And Germany have qualified six wins from six in theirs. Scotland currently sitting second. So the final group game's coming up in the next international break. So uh, let's get ready for that. But we got a game versus Banger City to come up. Um, let's take you to the actual game. The tactics. Uh, Carrieri in goal. Felipe, it's in the mud V2. Reese Hein, Transky, Rodriguez, Rake Sudar, Menon, Diaz, MMM, and Tom Wardo playing up front. Uh, we, it's a it's against Banger City. So slightly rotated here. Uh, let's see how things go. And Osmar Solomon will get his uh, debut on the bench, which is nice. Um, let's make sure I change this stuff first. But yeah, how is everybody doing today? How have things been going? We're, we're getting closer to that new stadium. Only, uh, well, a year and seven months now in game. Uh, so very, very close. <laughs> we have this this this, this season and next season. And then the, the 98,000 seat stadium will be here. Um, and then theoretically, we either have the option to ask for a new expansion straight away, hopefully, or it'll be our last season with them, um, with Barry. And we have to sort of look look to go for the last go. I don't know what to, what to do for the last season, whether we try and stream the whole thing, maybe. But 
like do like a big stream for the last season and try and do it in one sitting. I think if we if we were to do it in one sitting, we'd definitely be doing like key highlights, uh, fast pace for the whole thing because it takes a while. And Felipe, did I switch it to to extended? I did. Good stuff. Um, I need to switch the sounds on. Let's go, Wardo. Oh, okay. Rake Sudar. Okay. But yeah, we'll, we'll have to think about that when we when it gets here. Uh, Wardo redeem new t stadium for ninety eight thousand channel points. <laughs> An MMM shoots wide. Okay, close, close. All right. Um, let's see. Okay, Triansky on the ball cuts inside. Wardo just wide. Okay, close, close. Right, Triansky. Rodriguez, Rake Sudar, got my Nizzy Tizzy Arena FM. 126k looks amazing. Wow, that is incredible. <laughs> it's just ridiculous. 126k. I do wonder, I do wonder if we stay at Barry for another like 30 years, whether we get 126k stadium. But it's like 100 years at, at, at one club is, is like 70 years was tough with Barry. By the end, I'm like, come on, let's move to the next one. Uh, but maybe it's because I decided that the last 10 years we kind of just d did whatever we wanted. Um, how have we not scored there, by the way? Maybe if I kept putting, like, maybe we can do it with the next club, maybe. Like, uh, if we just keep doing the, I think the formation stuff will probably take us a long time because theoretically, like, if we, if we, if we say we're going to do the new formations, there is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39 formations. And theoretically, you go, okay, it takes us maybe 10, 15 years to win, the win it. So there's 40 formations, 10 to 15 years to win the first Champions League. Let's say, let's say 15 uh, to be... We're not very good. Um, and then 15 years plus the 40. And by the way, first goal of the day. And it's Tom Wardo with the goal. You love to see it. Uh, so that's 55 years to get. A, a, theoretically, you win the Champions League with every formation, every first season. So it probably won't be that. Let's say uh, like every other season. And we could definitely get to 100. But I think we just need to keep challenges up the whole time to make sure we like it, it's it's uh, like keep the challenge up basically because <laughs> i think once we run out of challenges when it gets boring uh decided to ai generate face for my players that left a legacy at my club oh, okay who what's you what's this using um oh wow <laughs> i always wanted it oh, okay fair enough there's it's very <laughs> the left back he's fucking ripped absolutely ripped man <laughs> uh, good stuff Right, okay, we nearly scored it again there. I wasn't paying attention. I was closing things. We, we are very close to scoring a lot here, but we just, we just, we've been pretty poor actually this year, I think, in finishing wise. I don't know. Maybe we did, we have changed a good bit. We've moved a few key players on, but I don't know. It just feels like some, some of the players are just not with it, not with it as much this year. But we can, we, we, we just have to create the luck ourselves in a way, you know? It'll, it'll, it'll even out. Tom Water. This definitely won't be a record breaking season. We, we have, uh, haven't had the best of starts. I think that last season we will try to go all the way. Oh, and Reese Hind does make it two. We'll love to see it. Uh, and it gives us a bit of sort of wiggle room at least. <laughs> okay. Um, let us see. Go back there. Go there. Good stuff. All right. Um, cool. Wardo, go on. MMM. Oh, how's he not scored? How's he not scored? Oh, very close to scoring, getting another one there. But unfortunately, not to be, not to be. Right, okay. Um, oh, just, okay. Okay. Right. Also, you need an account for the one I'm using and you only get five free credits. They also don't need email verification. Oh, Christ. Hmm. Bit odd that. Bit odd that. Odd that. <laughs> Be careful. Oh, Villa Sante scoring for for Aviv West. It, it it just feels all over the place at the moment. Like Goitra currently sitting fifth. It's it's just odd. We got like Carmathan, Goitra, Convy, no, like all the sort of smaller sides from the Wales that are up at the moment. So it's it's an odd situation. 
Like, I guess if we go, where, what clubs aren't here at the moment? Let's go to Wales. We can figure this out. Um, come on, let me get to Wales. There we go. Clubs. Like, Ridwin aren't there. TNS aren't. Ba like, TNS, Balaton, Pentra. Like, those are normal, like, and even real. Like, these nor are normally always here. So the fact that they're not, like, TNS. Uh, with the password is the kind of stuff I'm using. Oh, I see. Okay. Well, fair enough. It works, I guess. It works. Jesus, what's going on? TNS. How long have they been? They got, they finished 0405. Wow. It's been a while now for them. This is their third season without coming up, maybe? Let's have a look. Um, domestic 0405, 05, 05, 06, 06, 07, 07. Yeah, this will be our third season. Where they, mm, interesting, interesting. Okay, well then, we continue onwards. Rake Sudar into the second half we go. Have they changed formation? Yes, they have. And they brought on a striker. Let's mark up. We're only 2-0 up. We're not actually... To be fair, the strength of the squad we've got, like, it's not a full rotated 11. We're not playing well, you know? Like, we should be 3 or 4 not up at half time. <laughs> like, there's... We do have five clear-cut chances in, it, in that first half. So, like, we definitely should be up more, I think. We just... I don't know. The strikers aren't, aren't feeling it at the moment. Wardo. Oh, he's sliced through by Keane there. Or oh, I, I don't know who, who's missing the chances. Wardo shoots over the bar there. Okay. 6.3 for MMM. Not what you want to see. Rake Sudar with the ball in. It's cleared. Triansky on the edge, and he loses out there. Sorry. And it is, of course, of this the Euros year. We got England hosting. So, hello, Jambo. I saw. Did Hearts win 2 0, I thought? I assume Oda scored. <laughs> um, Nobunaga. Excuse me. <laughs> um, Rake Sudar. Oh, okay. And it's cleared. It's cleared. I think we might. Like, okay, hold on. Um, I think. What was I? What have I been saying? I don't even know that we might have to do a bit of a. I don't know, like rotation, like the changing of the guard in these last couple of seasons. I feel like Rake Sudars and the Jambos and the Hams and MMMs. They're starting to get old now, and they're starting to sort of move on. And you're just like, oh, okay, but yeah, okay, um. Yeah, St. Johnston's not a shite, though. Their keeper was good, though. Oh, fair enough. Odin, I'll do the almost unified Japan and back in the day. I see. I did not know that. Uh, history fact. Oh, nearly a... We're still only 2-0 up. This is a joke, lads. Shocking. Shocking performance. <laughs> okay. Um, let's see. Okay, good. On. Tom Wardo. Oh, Jesus Christ. Shocking. Right. So, uh, let's make a change. Um, MMM's having a poor one so far. Um, also, Twitch wasn't working properly early. I did hear that. I did hear that. So, it seems to be doing okay now. Sorry, I'm a bit distracted. Okay, MMM, not at the best of games. Solomon, our Egyptian striker, will come on. See how he does. Um... Do, do, do. Who else is not having a good game? Everyone else is okay. Menon's not having the best of games. Maybe we'll bring him on Cataneo for him. Um, I did see. I did see. Come on, with one 0 up. They they actually won there. I saw Celtic won quite quite a lot on the opening day. But fair enough. That's that's a big big slip up already from Rangers if they're losing the first game. Rake Sudar. Oh, just wide. Okay. Okay. Cool. Tom Ward over the bar. The free kick. Okay. Congrats to Celtic for winning the league. Exactly. That's what some people are saying. <laughs> yeah, we've had 38 shots in this game. And only 2-0 is kind of underwhelming, you'd probably say. Cataneo. Solomon. Oh, nearly. Rodriguez on the ball. Rake Sudar. Okay, on the edge and he's cleared. He's on a 9, but I feel like he hasn't been playing that well today. Weird. All right, 15 minutes to go here. If Bangor City get a goal back, we're actually in a bit of trouble. We're a bit like, oh, okay, that's a bit closer than I'd like. Can, can Solomon get a goal in his debut? He gets tackled by two players instead. Rake Sudar, Tom Wardo. Okay, shot is blocked. Okay. Well then. 
15 minutes to go in this game, and it's just it's not been a good one, has it? Poggia to come on for Wardo, maybe, and we'll swap you two over. Maybe it's the striking core? I don't know. It just... Things haven't clicked. So, no, it's very low points at the end of the, the bottom of the table, actually. Newtown only have three. So, did only have three. Bang only have four. Convy only have five. Like, that's a bit worrying that they've only got that many got points after the, this many games. Like, Bang City haven't got a win. <laughs> Holy shit, they've got four draws, four losses. <laughs> okay, Catanillo, Poggia. Poggia. Enrique Felipe, Poggia. Catanillo. Rodriguez, Rake Sudar. Oh, and it's cleared. Oh, my goodness. Ben Dean, former player, of course. Ask more in the mud V2. Flow in. GG, Celtic. <laughs> Congratulations on another league win. Rake Sudar, Poggia, Solomon, tackled. Catanillo, way over the bar. Jesus. Right, okay. Keen, Ben Dean, Warlick, Ben Dean, cleared. When are you going to cause a riot like that Twitch dude I never heard? Oh, yeah. It's What's his name? Kai Sanat or whatever. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna cause a riot outside Sports Interactive because we want backwards compatibility saves. Well, not backwards compatibility. We want FM15 saves to be a playable in FM25. <laughs> did Carmathan survive? The they did, Wilson. Yes, on the final day they survived. Both Carmathan and Convy stayed up as the newly promoted sides, which is very rare, I think, in our. Um, in, in the Welsh League, at least. But, yes. Oh, Ben Dean's coming through. Ben Dean holds it up well. Carrieri, the biggest... We have been pretty poor today, actually. 46 shots. Like, either their goalkeeper's had the fucking best game of his life, or our strikers just aren't playing that well. Diaz, come on, mate. Come on, boy. Number nine. You're supposed to be the sort of new fourth striker. But wins a corner in the end. Okay. Um, Diaz... Solomon! Oh, go on, Solomon. Oh, I broke it. The basic goal. The basic golasso for Solomon for his first goal for us ever. Diaz from a corner routine, of course. The best the best of all, all, all three corner routines. The short corner. And Solomon <laughs> makes it 3-0. Uh, okay. And maybe this is when the, the, the floodgates open here. Diaz going to try and win the ball back. Kinsey. Kujat. Orlick. Up to Kinsey. Some more in the mud. V2 tackles him. Well done. Oh, nearly up to Poggia. Look at them hands. Oh, God. We're looking at hands. <laughs> there's, a, there's, a, there's a certain website for this. Oh, Christ. <laughs> My man's got a, got the, the grip, like the, the pincer for hands. He's got a pincer hand. And Poggia should score there, uh, but does not. Um, but Jesus. <laughs> Rodriguez. Break Sudar on the ball. Oh, and he's tackled there by Kujat. Is that a red card? It's not a yellow. It's just sort of... We got 68 possession possession in this game. My goodness. Felipe nearly tackled. Well, just tackled. Poor from us. I'm one point behind Liverpool. If I win my two games in hand, they're on a 30 get, uh, unbeaten run. Hello, Wardo. Hello. How are you? Uh, and that is ridiculous from Liverpool. Very strong team you're up against there. <laughs> Diaz. Oh, he does very well there. And somehow, somehow... We do get it in the back of the net. I really don't know how to draw hands. It, they really don't. They really don't. <laughs> um, there we go. Good stuff. Right. One minute of added time. And it's a 4-0 win. It's a bit more... Uh, we had 50 shots in this game. Hold on. How many saves has he made? He's made 19 saves. The keeper's made 19 saves in this game. Jesus Christ. Oh, my God. Well, then, he's, he's had a fantastic game, to be honest with you. But, uh, unfortunately, they still lose 4-0. Oh, excuse me. Right. Apologies. I'm yawning already. My God. Um, okay. Well, a nice 4-0 win. And we've got Celtic away up next. They got their first loss in January to Spurs. Five, well, what a first loss to have as well. Bloody hell. Okay. Um, here we go. Good stuff. Let's rest the boys up and get ready for the Champions League, which will be full strength side, and hopefully they can uh, perform a bit better. See, MMM, only 9-9 nine nine for, for, for him. Pretty poor, honestly. Um, let's see. Okay. And assistant. 
And okay, let's continue. So yeah, we've got Celtic and then a Welsh Cup versus Tom Pentra. And then I don't know if it's another league game or we're going to the international break, but we've obviously we've got the November international break upcoming. City are in uh, sixth with Haaland on 28. Holy shit. <laughs> oh yeah, of course, World Cup qualifying is, is occurring as well at the same time. Um, is there anything interesting going on here? Actually, Syria, Japan, Australia, North Korea and Jordan tied at the top. South Korea, Lebanon, Kuwait, Iraq, China. Mm, China, Saudi Arabia. China. Oh, no, Saudi Arabia haven't lost. Interesting. Okay. Well, then, we continue onwards. We've made a good few signings, actually, as well. Um, who have I signed? I have signed a few Brazilians. Only a few Only a few signings coming in now. Interesting. Feels like we've got we're, lots of... Uh, we had, I had much more people coming in than that, but who knows? Um, Arsenal winning 3-2 there, as I saw. Okay. Let us see how things go. Um, oh, goodness me. Okay. Nicholas Torres. Ooh, oh, yeah. Here's the signings, by the way. Gustavo Lopez. A um, Look at this boy. Look at this boy. He is going to be the fullback of full of dreams uh, for, for us. Well, for future... Actually, no, he's not going to be. He's, he's, he's actually ta terrible defensively. But I've signed him anyway, so who cares? Uh, he's going to be a winger for them, I guess. To be fair, I guess I'm signing players um, based on, like, they are coming in for the future. <laughs> uh, I was wondering, have you won many Europa Leagues? I bet you won it with Athens Leader before the league uh, was awesome. Um, no, I've won, I think, a singular Europa League. Um, and it was with Port Talbot, of all teams. Um, let's go find it. It's in my Hall of Fame. Was it? It was. Uh, I didn't win it with with Penny Bond, did I? Uh, Thirty years. Yeah, I've got one Euro Cup, and that was twenty eight. I beat Torino in the the um, in the final one, uh, four two after extra time. Twenty eighty. Twenty eighty. Twenty eighty. There you go. Nice. I was thinking about this. Yeah. Basically, what happens a lot of the time um, is okay. Here we go. Where is it? Final. There you go. Look at the, look at the run we had. So we um, Torino knocking out TNS there. By the way, uh, um, Real Madrid Real Madrid there as well. Where's Port Talbot? We beat Juventus on away goals. Beat Catania. Beat West Ham on away goals, and then beat Torino in the final. Next time, such a weird looking at this. Um, but a lot of the time, what happened is you. I guess if we like, if we go back to Lido, is even with Lido, is that basically. We, because we were winning the league, we were going into Champions League qualifying, and there was there was only like a really small period where we were like not good enough to get to the group stages of the Champions League, and like we dropping down into the Europa League sort of thing. So there was only like one or two time seasons that I could go for the Europa League, and I wasn't good enough to win it that back then. So like if I go to the schedule, I guess if I go all the way back to the start, all the way back, all the way back. Let's have a look how far. <laughs> so. Let's see. Go to like here. So, uh, if I go take off competitions, there we go. So, we had like Europa League qualification, and then by this point we were winning the league. So we're going to the Champions League qualification. Dropped down to Europa League, lost a lot. Europa League, lost Europa League, lost Europa League, lost Europa League. Then we get to the groups of Europa League, and then. By that point, we're good enough to get to the Champions League. So we're going to the Champions League now. So we literally only had one... Well, okay, we came third in this this group and we got to the... Well, we lost to the final. I forgot about that. We did We get to a, we did get to a final. We lost to Newcastle 3-2 uh, in the final. I, rem I remember... Oh, that, that's very annoying. Um, but then by then... And then we, were in, <laughs> then we were in a Champions League semi-final the next year. Like, there was a very short period of, like, we actually, um, like... There's only a couple of seasons where you're Europa League eligible, I think. And then with Port Talbot. Um, like once you start winning, because because the coefficient is then high, once you start winning the league, you're automatically in the group stages. Like even coming second, well, if you come third in the Welsh League now, you're automatically group stages. So it's, it's yeah. Uh, what happens when you get a stadium at every Welsh club? Well, we'll figure out what happens when, when we get to that, to be honest. It might break the game. You never know. It'd be very interesting to see if, if, if one of these teams gets relegated with a 100k stadium. Like, what happens to it? Um, Port Talbot. I want to look at their Europa League. I started managing them in, like, 2077. 
apologies. My voice, my, my having problems with my like uh, talking today. My chest. I don't know. It's very odd. Very odd. It's probably just uh, what's it called? A bit of heartburn, I think. But uh, hopefully, just get through it. Um, let's go to schedule. So we go to schedule and go. Do, 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 get rid of this, and then. We go all the way back to like 2077, I think it was. I also want to just show you like TNS and Banger Cities back in the day because obviously they, but when I was managing F and Leader, they sort of took over as the as the sort of they were getting the good coefficients. So here we go. Yeah, got Europa League there. What won the Europa League in my like second season or so, second or third season, and then we were in the Champions League from then on. So we literally only have like two or three. Uh, to go with them. I do want to show, I think, TNS, I think it got to a Champions League semi? Blood powder is good for heartburn. Oh, really? Oh, really? Oh, okay. I guess that's, I guess that's what we need to do. <laughs> um, all right, let's go to schedule. Um, go. And go all the way back to the start. Because it was just so funny seeing them, like, they were suddenly, like, I don't know how they did so well and how, like, my Welsh teams now aren't doing as well. Um, right, so. Here we go. They're, they're in the, the the qualifiers here, of course. And then, okay, Europa League qualifying. And I think, like, obviously at a certain point, the co coefficient gets good where they're sort of, you can see they're entering in, like, earlier, like, later and later rounds. Um... Okay, we've got some Europa League group stages here. I want to see when's... Okay, so now they've got the automatic Euro, Europa League. We drop back down again for a bit. Automatic Europa qualification. Okay, yeah, here's here's automatic and then... Okay, where was it? Champions League quarterfinal versus Bayern they got to. Europa League. Champions League quarterfinal versus us, where they lost quite heavily. There we go. Semi-final. They beat Real Madrid on away goals there. Look at that. Beat Port beat Porto as well. Insane situation there. Also a very insane situation that two of our former affiliates, St. Etienne and Torino and Celtic were a former affiliate, all in the group with TNS. Um, but they were like regularly... Like another semi-final there. They lost to Bayern this time. They never got to a final, I don't think. But they were re re pretty regular uh, until I sort of took over the, the second club and sort of took their spot. But uh, yeah, let's just continue now. Let's let's continue. <laughs> stop, stop, stop. Uh, what's it called? Wasting time. <laughs> okay. So Celtic, Celtic to come though. Um, they're coming up. We'll see how things go with this game. It should be it should be a nice win, but who knows? All right. Oh, Lido losing there to Aberystwyth. Okay. Oh yes, I'm in. I'm still in my small, small version of me. There we go. I'm in my big version of me now. <laughs> okay, cool. Um, right. Anything else going on here? Any news of anything? No. Oh yeah, Vitella. Okay, we're signing some more players. Vitella, another Argentine. Uh, okay, of course Tom Waters isn't upset with me. I don't think like I can't believe Tom Waters stayed for so long. It's just we've somehow got him on contract extensions at the perfect time because I think he spends about 90% of his time upset with us. If we played an attacking midfielder, he'd be actually like a, a Ballon d'Or winner, I reckon. But sadly, we play a 4-3-3. So he either gets pigeonholed striker or centre mid. But uh, it's also one of the reasons I kind of don't want to sell him because I know if I do sell him, he's going to absolutely destroy for someone in that attacking playmaker role. And I'm like, maybe if I just keep him with us, he'll, he's just better, like, won't hurt us as much. <laughs> Just me being a bit selfish there. Just love, hate that club. <laughs> um, oh, yeah. Completely crazily. I was, sort of, was playing earlier today. I need to find this fucking result. Look at this. Goitra beat Newtown 10-2. That's, that's where they've got a goal difference. Of they have the same goal difference as us after nine games. Now, is that us playing poorly? But Goitra, 26 goals scored. 20 goals against. It's just insane. Like, I, just mental. <laughs> like, look at Goitra have not Alvaro Torres and Wayne Morris, the two highest goal scorers. And Alvaro Torres, Alvaro Torres 
So, oh god, I can't even speak. Alvaro Torres. Oh, you are right there, Jake? He's, he's having a bit of a choke. Probably on one of his own hairs. To be fair, Alvaro Torres. I, I remember I did sell them him very, very cheap and he is incredible. Um, the fact they haven't lost him yet. They probably will lose him soon. Um, I can't believe the creature of the same amount of goals scored as us over nine games. <laughs> oh, Christ alive. Right then. Let's continue. Okay. The voice breaks have sounded like me. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, my voice is it's just all over the shop tonight. Premier League. Four points clear already. Oof. We're back in for the, uh, the dark era of Arsenal domination in the Prem. <laughs> right, and nothing going on there. A couple days till the Champions League game. I do. I need to wait, though, for the international call-ups. I need to remember to, to wait for them and be like, hello, please do not go on friendlies. Oh. Still having a, having a cough. He threw up today, actually, Jake did. Just out of nowhere, a bit of a regurgitation. Nearly did it on on the bed. Nearly did it on the clothes. We thankfully got him over to the wood flooring that, that and just put do it on the floor. But you can sort of just wipe it up with a towel, like a paper towel. So a bit, bit nicer there. <laughs> um, right. Anything going on here? No, Celtic away. Okay, should be. Well, I think they're fourth seed. I think, at least. I don't know. I'll have to see. Um, assistant. Okay. okay. Come on. Ain't nothing going on there either. Celtic, Compentra. Definitely going to be around here, the, the call-up is, and I just need to make sure I'm paying attention, which is probably quite difficult for me, because I'm not, a lot of it I'm just not paying attention fully for it. <laughs> oh, Christ alive. Right, we're going, we're going reverse hat, just because. Um, I have for West... It's because I'm feeling hot. This hat makes me hot, a lot hotter than, than usual. I, I don't know why, but... Yeah, oh look at that. Perfect. Perfect. I've got my sailor hat on now. <laughs> I don't know how this makes it uh, more like me cooler, but it does. It works. So right. Beating Flight 9-1. They're playing a Secundo Volante. Oh wow. That is that is something. Right. Team selection. Oh yeah, it's very close, by the way. Everybody's got one win and two losses. So who 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 knows who's going to come second in this group? Uh, it's kind of at the moment it's who's getting beat more by by me, <laughs> by more goals. <laughs> um, yeah, let's just do that. So oh, Triansky, wow, Triansky getting replaced by Luis Carlos on the bench. We're going to put Triansky back in. So we're going to go with the usual squad. A um, bit of uh, Carrieri, Triansky, Borbos. Inseralde, Felipe, Menon, Catania, Rake Sudar, and then it's Jambo, Poggia, and MMM. So let's go. They're going with a defensive formation here, um, the wing backs. So let's see how things go. Let's mark up. Good stuff. Hold on. There we go. There we go. Oh, we, we qualify. Oh, yeah, of course we will, because, well. They'll be sick. Yeah, 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 that's true. If we beat them and then whatever happens in the, the game will be seven points clear if they draw and will be like nine points clear if one of them wins, basically. So if we do win, we are qualified after four games. MMM. Oh, nearly. Can you can you technically qualify after three match days? So say, okay, so basically what you need is you need nine points. So that means you need to to beat three teams. So what happened needs to happen in the other games for you to be able to qualify? So you've got three more games. So you need to be nine. You can't, you can't physically. No, basically you can't because but theoretically they can, if like for them, for you to qualify, you need to be more than nine points clear. Um, 
and then they don't all have to be on zero, which doesn't work because they have to play each other. Yeah, so you can, the earliest you can qualify is after four games. Jambo? Ooh, just wide. 11-1. Mate, whoever... Oh, okay. So we wanted to start Rake Sudar, but sadly, the gods have said no. It's time to get injured, Rake Sudar. So Science comes on to replace him. Um, so let's see how things go here. Um, but uh, not the best of starts. 20 minutes in, and... We've had some chances. Apparently, we had two clear-cut chances that I just have not seen, I don't think. Unless I just saw them and went, didn't think they were actually any decent chances as Celtic fire over. Club Bruges 1-0 up over Liverpool. Maybe club, we were 2-0 up over Liverpool. Club Bruges dominance, boys. Uh, obviously, we did face them in the quarterfinals last time. Just wanted to showcase this amazing sign I got from Manchester United following your advice from previous stream. Help me get into the first round of the Europa League for the first time. Oh, okay. Let's have a look. Let's have a look at this the signing. Ball boss with the tackle there. Josh Jones. Oh, okay. Oh, you picked him up from, from Man United. Nice. Left back. Decent, man. Decent. That's good to get to the, the, the advice helped. Nice, man. Huge stuff. Best best left back by a good way. Lovely stuff. He probably can sell him on for a good amount of money as well. That is also a big bit as well, is then turning that those players you sign for free into big money. And that's how you make, sort of build up your capital and then you can sort of start buying more expensive players. Uh, we're playing terribly again, it seems. I don't know what's going on. Half an hour in, still nil-nil against Celtic here. Uh, Troyansky coming forwards, still coming forwards. Can he pull the ball back? He does. It falls back to him, and it's straight into the keeper's arms. It's a very boring Champions League. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, not six anymore. There was six nil-nil games after half an hour. My goodness me. We are not playing well. I don't know what's going on with our attack at the moment, but it's just... Lost, lost a bit of oomph, and I don't know why selling Hambo and, like, Ocampo and Souza would be doing anything affecting it, because they're not involved in the main team. So I don't understand why the, they they would, like, this could happen. But who knows? Jambo, men on. Over to Catanillo. Loses out there, and counterattack is on. Troyansky, you fucking idiot. Oh, you're kidding me. 1-0 down to Celtic because our got defenders decided to do the back header. We haven't had to suffer one of these in a long time. And Troyansky just decides that, yeah, we're having... Of course, on the game, we're having a terrible time as well. Poor from poor from Troyansky. Carrier, you can't... Like, he, he stops so many of them. You can't really afford to, um, say, have a go at him for not finish saving that one. But very annoying. Troyansky with the long throw signs. To Jambo. Can he... Oh, Normally, he finishes those so well, but it's just a, a weak, weak shot, man. I just don't know what's going on with us at the moment. One last chance before the half here. Poggia, Menon, Signs. Poggia again, tackled. Signs again. Poggia again. Enrique Felipe. Just not, just nowhere near. Nowhere near to a good chance there. Very aggressive. Like, what is going on, lads? What is happening here, boys? Shocking performance. I, do, I just... It feels like sometimes it's just, the game is just like, oh, yeah, your players are just going to lose all form, even though, like, you're a champion. It's like 10 times Champions League winners, like, on a 100-win streak. You just, yeah, they're not going to play well. Or, like, on this instance of the game being open. Maybe I should close it and reopen <laughs> after this game, of course. Um, second half. Can we can we perform a bit better in the second half is the question. We, we started off with a chance, but no, nothing coming from it. Come on, lads. Sorted out. Galatasaray have equalised versus Braga. In Serraldi, MMM. Menon. Poggia. Just lots and lots. Four clear-cut chances, apparently, we've had there. <sighs> Come on, lads. Just get the goal. Get a goal. Oh, straight into his arms. At least get the corner from it. But it just feels like the strikers have gone, yeah, no, not today. Not today. And that was just, just shocking. We, we've got half an hour left in this game. We're going to lose our, our win streak here. We... We had like a 78 game win streak in the Champions League. Oh, MMM, come on. How are you missing that? How? Jambo. Another set. After 166 goals and 79 assists in 200 games, my next AI face. Oh, okay. Decent, decent. I don't know how, how we're going to win this game, you know. <laughs> We've got 20 minutes left. Um, decent. Okay, we need to pause it because, like, Jesus Christ. 6.3 for MMM and Wardo's our best. Oh, Jesus Christ. This is 
This is when you know we're in d dire straits. So we have to bring Wardo on as a striker. We are going to lose this game, it feels. Um, unless something happens here. But signs? Signs! Oh, straight into the keeper's arms. How oh, I've only just noticed that hat. <laughs> I flipped it. But I'm just saying, Wardo, you're not a striker, fella. You're more of a midfielder, but you can play striker. Diaz! Diaz, come on, man! We're getting FM so hard here. Wardo, Poggia. Just, oh, for fuck's sake, man. It's not our day. It's not happening, is it? Someone's injured. I can't believe it. I, I was going to say that if they score again, I'm going to be so pissed. Poggia, somehow keep, actually kept that it going. Wardo, Cataneo. Can we at least get the draw? Give us a draw at least. Signs, Felipe. Just, just run directly into him. Diaz, Borbos, Inseralde. Yep, go back to the keeper. Can't believe we're going to lose to Celtic here, man. Fuming. I guess we give him a good chance to qualify for the next round. Signs, what are you doing? Like, actually, like, what are you doing there? Poggia. Oh, my God, we've scored. Get in. Thank God. One, well, at least we're not going to lose the game. I need to quickly change. Just We've scored, but it's not really a... Can we score again in extra time? Wardo with a shot. Cataneo with a shot. It's blocked. Men on again. Cataneo. Men on. Signs. Okay, straight into the arms. We are going to lose our win streak, sadly, though, which is very annoying because uh, I really wanted to keep the win streak going. But we're going to draw versus Celtic because of a back pass header. Very annoying. Very annoying. Unless we can score in this final play. I don't expect us to. But Felipe, can he put a good ball in for once? No, he cannot. He's been a bit poor today as well. Last few seconds here. Cataneo. Okay, just, just, he just he just gave them the ball. He just dr gave them the ball there. Absolutely shocking. Shocking. Well, apparently they deserve credit for that. Christ alive. Well then, at least everyone else drew. I don't know if we qualify with that, but really annoyed with that, actually. <laughs> really annoyed how, how poorly that's gone. Like, I just, the team have just decided, like, yeah, we're not going to score. I don't know, man. I don't know. Well then, um, does that, where is it? Rakesy Dart injured for six to seven weeks with a broken collarbone. We do hilariously also qualify, though, uh, with that, but very annoying. Oh, well. What can you do? You gotta move on. You gotta move on. Um, okay, Keflavik, legend. Dennis Antalek has enjoyed a career path of many would envy. Amazing. His, his stats are still pretty poor as well. Uh, so it shows like how early you you are in it. Um, <clears throat> oh yeah, we got we're scouting a lot of Brazilians by the way. Uh, I'm doing a top bowley. 13 finishing 13, composure 13 off the ball. <laughs> like, and that's like a four and a half star player. Oh, you got a long, you got a long way to go, Ard. You'll be, you'll have to, you'll look back and be like, oh my god, Johnny Jenkinson still playing for Trinidad. Holy shit, what? Sorry, how old is he? He's 31, playing for Virtus Intella. God, I thought he was dead. <laughs> He hasn't been... He's been playing in Serie A, actually, for most of his career. How many caps has he got? 125 Trinidad caps. Go on, lad. Who's the record? Um, 209. Christ. Oh, yeah, by the way, Annabelle Arand is the next Wales manager. I forgot to tell you. Um, yeah. Oh. You all right, Jake? Bloody hell. Uh, our our uh, former youth player that's half Paraguayan. Remember, because he came through, he, he was born in Paraguay. Half Welsh, half Paraguayan. Now manager of the Welsh national side. Um, look at that knowledge. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. We have to see how he does with Wales. 20 players called up for international duty. Matt Smith getting called up for Wales. But it's very cool. It's very funny that we're now getting former w Barry youth intake uh, players becoming... Wales national team managers. How far we've got, we've come. Right. Let's see. What, where, when's the international call ups? Because I can then be like, hello, excuse me. Um, no, do not go. <laughs> um, we'll see. 
Um, all right. Oh, yes. Okay. They're finishing. You're not that good. You're not that good. All right. Pentra to come in the Welsh Cup. Hopefully, this is a bit of a nicer game for us. We are at home. I guess we need this at this point because we're just awful for some reason at the moment. Um, but we'll see. Okay, I'm going to sort that. There we go. Right. Oh, 16,100. There we go. Bloody hell. <laughs> That's a lot of games. That's a lot of games. Right, Merlot out. Okay. Ah, 67. Set international instructions. Right. So, who can I call back? Christ, no one. Oh, my God. I can call no one up. Why are they all needed? Oh, God. We're fucked, man. How do they get all of their players back, but we don't get any of our players back? I can call the under-19 players back, and that's it. Right. I guess we're calling every under-19 players back. Hopefully, we've got some other players sitting around. Jesus, you can come back, mate. But, Christ, we are fucked. <laughs> we are fucked for this Havoc for West semi-final, lads. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> right. Come on. Let's... Oof. Not, not, too, not too good. Not too good. <laughs> Hopefully... The game is after the European qualifiers, but for some reason, I feel like it probably won't be. It might be for a few, actually. We'll have to see. We'll just have to see. Hopefully. Okay, five players withdrawn. Oh, yeah. Here's all of them finishing. Glauber. Eh, not Mycon. Eh. Lucio. No. Jeff Arias. Center mid on attack. Long shots, 10, 10. Yeah, maybe I'll get Jeff Arias. Um, 14 million. Mm. Danish guy got a 10-minute interview. I did. I saw he put the, the post up. That's pretty cool. I need to have... Well, I was going to say, I need to have a listen to it, but it's probably in Danish. So um, <laughs> I probably won't be able to understand it. But Marcus Paolo as well. I was liking this guy. Yes, I do like this guy. We signing that. But that's really awesome that he's getting an interview on, on, on fucking Danish TV about it. <laughs> Okay, uh, Elvis. Can we sign Elvis? Goalkeeper. Honestly, yeah, let's sign Elvis. <laughs> Just because. Just because. We know we know exactly why we're signing Elvis. Um, Alright. Good stuff. It is in Danish. <laughs> if I was, well, I was going to say, I could try and understand it with my basic Swedish knowledge, but I, don't, I barely any Swedish no knowledge, so the Danish would be even worse. <laughs> Okay. Um, all right. Oh, MMM's happy to stay now. Probably time to start phasing you out, fella. Uh, Nicholas Torres signing for us as well. The player. Here, okay, here we go. So obviously we need to change some players up. Um, let's get Ronaldinho in there. Let's bit Pianchi in there. Um, I need a. Do you Nick? Stop him and Luis Carlos. Grun. Reese Hind. Eduardo Rodriguez. And Domingo Diaz up top. With. You put Solomon. Let's put Solomon. And then we've got a bench of. We need Jambo. We need Poggy, maybe. Yeah, let's go with this. Let's go with this. Let's hope this can... Let's hope this can get us. See, I've, I'm now testing ourselves by going, let's see if we can fuck up the Welsh Cup now too by playing a far weakened side against Tom Pentra when we can't score. But we'll see what happens. <laughs> right. Let's mark everybody up. Okay, cool. Um... Go. Favorites attacking. Off we go. Let's see. I hope. There we go. We're okay here. Uh, Tom Pentra are, are non league. So. And they've got a chance. They've got the first chance of the game, which worries me. It's 
Cleared. I can... Oh, my God. They nearly score. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Have I made a mistake here? Have I made a mistake? They have the ball again. Ingram. Resign and steps. With the new rules, does Wales get ri uh, rid of European places playoffs? It means kind of pointless to have playoffs for eight teams. What do you mean? With the new... What new rules? Oh. Um, I don't know. I guess... Playoffs for eight teams. I, 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 what, what do you mean by like you mean the new the new like I don't I, I, yes I still I don't, don't don't get what you mean Diego what 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 new rules does Wales get rid of European places playoff who you Nick I can need, need a Ronaldinho just loses the ball there okay who Nick gets it back Ronaldinho Solomon loses out we still got the ball though Luis Carlos Diaz on Diaz. Bianchini. Oh. Also, he sold Darami for profit. Nice. <laughs> Get money. Wheeling and dealing. Bernardo. I heard kudos to Brighton now, which is a bit mental. Rodriguez. Luis Carlos. Ronaldinho. Loses, but he's injured the player. And Diaz does put us one up. They, we've injured their player and we've scored. You love to see it. <laughs> okay, any other upsets going on currently as we speak? Not as oh Risker playing real one nil with the new EAF comes I think nations can get up to eight teams in Europe so I was thinking if the playoffs which happen will still take place um well I don't know honestly but I don't think Wales will ever be in that position to test it but it's I guess like it doesn't I don't think it 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 matters as much like you it's it, it doesn't change oh my God Solomon with the goal it it, it doesn't I don't think it changes much because there's the playoffs are still to get a spot in european qualifying because the Wales coefficient is so bad anyway that it doesn't matter like so technically so i guess what you you with with eight they've all lost to bournemouth can go top by two nice so I guess if you had like with eight, you have like four automatic for the well, I guess with the Welsh one, you'd have five automatic for the Champions League. And then you'd have the Welsh Cup would be U Europa League. And then the playoffs for, would also be Europa League. And then I guess you'd have another one being Europa League just because that's the eighth one. I don't know. I honestly don't know, but I, I don't think it would change, to be honest with you. Um but two nil up though, doing much better. Okay. This is this is how you score strikers, thankfully. Ward plays it straight to Carlos. Rodriguez, Ronaldinho, Diaz, Diaz. Oh, tackled in the box. We just need Bianchi. 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 Is it is it Bianchi? Bianchini. Bian Bianchi. Bianchi with to get a goal now. Uyunic plays it in and Diaz heads over the bar. All right, let's get creative. Last of the half. Last shout of the half. I am excited about Uyunik, Akinide, and Bianchi, to be fair. Uh, and Solomon, actually, now. like They all seem very good prospects. Uh, Diaz, very unlucky. Hits a lot of players on the way through there. Um, and it doesn't hit the target in the end. But uh, Luis Carlos, Ronaldinho. Hello, Dan. Hello, Daniel. How's it going, man? How are you? It's been a while. You'll join us for a Welsh Cup match versus uh, Tom Pentra. Um... So, yeah, doing well in 2307. So, good, good long way into it now. Solomon. Oh, that's it wide there. Good chance. Good chance. Probably should have finished better there. Okay. Ooh, your neck. Into Grun. Just a thing. The pronunciation of Bianchi is Bianchi. Bianchi. Okay. Thank you. Is it, this is why you popped in to be like, hello, you're pronouncing Bianchi wrong. Uh, okay, Bianchi. Bianchi. Pro I probably knew that, but I just, like a lot of the time I just read as phonetically as possible <laughs> sometimes um is where i think Bia is bianchi would it would it be where is bianchi is he german is he french is he italian where is he bianchi oh, i can't even click on him uh we'll click on it at half time when when we can actually see him because he might be i don't know what he is actually because the, the pronunciation would change up change i guess Oh, Ronaldinho's not at the best of times. I'm Italian, easy for me. <laughs> true, true. Jones, both. Are they going to score before the half here from Ronaldinho losing it? Ingram, 
Mitrovic, former player, Alexander Mitrovic. Oh my God, they bloody did. Shocking, shocking. We, we are just not playing well. I don't know what's going on with us. And that was all Ronaldinho's fault, to be fair. Losing it. I've given up on correcting you. That's probably the best way, you know. Pietro. Is he Italian? He's German. He's German. He is German-Italian, but he was born in Germany. So what What would you... How Would, would it be Bianchi? How do you pronounce Chi in German? <laughs> okay, let's switch to a 4-4-2 here. Um... He is German. I thought he was German, but he is German Italian. Who else in Discord has got really long saves? Um, Nizzy, Dark God. Um, Ard has a lot of long saves, but most of them are corrupted by this point. <laughs> um, there's a few that have like 2050 saves, I know of. Okay, can we not lose this game? We did so well to go 2 0 up. Akinade. Bian. Bian. Bian <laughs> the German now. Luis Carlos. Oh. Sorry, I had to bring that up. But <laughs> Diaz. Oh, okay. Ronaldinho. Diaz. Solomon. Oh, well done, Solomon. Good stuff. His second goal for us and his third in total this year. Very nice. And back to our two goal cushion. as a danger zone. Into the da oh, just into the danger. <laughs> Missed the rest of it. Okay. Right. Can we just run away with this game now? Ronaldinho again. Diaz. Oh, should make it. Is that... They both have wards. This is built different for long-term saves. <laughs> yes. Oosh. Ooh. Okay, that was a highlight, apparently. Ronaldinho is also tired as well. I just... I feel like he lets me down so much. I expect so much more from Ronaldinho every time I play him. And he just... I don't know. He just hasn't reached that next level yet. And, it, and it's sad because I'm like, is it going to come... Or is he just going to sort of peter off? Bruin, well done to intercept there. Giuseppe goes long. Gennardi. Bian Bianchi. Solomon. Can he get his hat trick? Bianchi, can he get his goal? Catania, Gennardi. Diaz. No oh, reward with a save there. Half an hour to go here. We still haven't played that well as well, to be honest. We are against a non league and we're only 3 1 up. Like. Know, it is a full B team out there, but like, I don't know. I'm just, I'm not, I haven't been impressed with the side this year, which is worrying. Solomon. It worries me for the Champions League games later on, like the knockout games. We need to get our shit together. Ooh, you're Nick Bianchi. Cutting inside. Can he lay it off? He's going to go himself. He does go himself and wins a corner from it. Right. Gattaneo into Bianchi, loses out, and it's just booted clear. Some of the highlights, by the way, have been so bad as well. I guess we've got to get used to this level of football again, because we are going to be going to a shit team soon. So we need to get like used to all of our players like missing really easy chances. I remember like they'll play really well, and then we'll play a team with high reputation, and we'll just get like rep rolled, and like all of our players will forget how to play football. Because it's... Oh, Bianchi does get his goal. It's not just an FM23 issue. It's been in every FM. Rep rolling is a thing. But uh, Bianchi with his goal there. Was it his first goal for us? Potentially. I don't know. But all three strikers have got goals now, which is better than what our last our main strikers did. Um, Rodriguez, Akinade, Bianchi. Ooh, you're Nick. Oh, I was going to say, can he get a goal for us? That would be very nice. Okay. Akinade. Oh, okay. On the, on the edge and... It's, I, I, they swap. They just swap them for some no reason. Bianchi. Nearly get to our fifth there. Carlos. Grun. Solomon. Rodriguez. Unic. Chattanio. Unic again. Don't know what he's doing there, but it's cleared eventually. And out for a Tom Pentra throw. All right. Okay. To stop the counter attack. But we've been a bit more comfortable this half. Solomon. Oh, Rabella. We did get a penalty. Well, we, Solomon has the chance for his hat trick here. Should have got a pe yellow, second yellow, you'd assume. But can Solomon score to get a hat trick and make us 5 1 up? He can. Well done, Solomon. He's had a fantastic start. Os Os Osama Solomon. Our Egyptian. He got his work permit as well. So we'll have to try and keep him around for five years, is the problem. That's the problem with those ones. Is In the UK, you need five years. It's just like, oof. There we go, 5-1. Hattrick for Solomon. You'll love to see it. 
And still, some more time for more highlights, some more goals potentially. Get some stat padding going, lads. Come on, we need to, we need to improve, get 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 morale up with a, with a good win like this. Cataneo, over to Uyanik. Oh, it's cleared. Bautel, goes long. Oof. Oh, Grin's now going to get sent off, you fucking idiot. Uh, dumb and dumber at the back with Grin and Resign, man. Dumb and dumber. Okay, well, Toleman, you can come off, fella. You 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 deserve it. Troyansky, you can come on at centre back. They've sw gone super attacking, but I don't think it matters anymore. Hello, Macro. Drago, I just used to change my news. Oh, Drago. Hello. I'm trying to get used. Would you rather me call you Macro or Drago? Uh, still. Do you, do you want a name change? <laughs> or do you want me to? I can, I can remain calling you Drago. I just I'll have to try and remember that. Uh, up to me. Up to me. Oh God! Don't put it on me. Jesus. Okay. I'll, I'll try and try and remember your Drago, but I might switch to Macro. It'll, it'll basically change depending on on uh, what my brain's doing at that very moment. After eight seasons, I'm finally getting work. Who won the World Cup then? Oh, okay, Drago. I'll show you. After eight seasons, I'm finally getting work permits approved. Starting to think club reputation has effect on chances. Oh, interesting. Maybe, maybe. It was Argentina who beat Germany, the hosts and current holders of the World Cup, um, in the final on penalties after being 10 men for most of the game, coming back from going a goal down twice, equal in the 87th minute to win on pens. So, as you can see, Germany, their route to the final, they Kuwait, Spain, and the Netherlands, while Argentina beat England, Italy, and France. Um, yeah, no, it was it was it was a very interesting group stages actually. Um, lots of upsets in the group stages. So like Kuwait uh, second place, Qatar got second place, um, Ivory Coast got second place over Slovenia and Mexico, Belgium got knocked out by USA and Ukraine, Saudi Arabia topped the group over France and Brazil, um, and then literally in the first knockout round, every small side lost. Like. Literally every small side lost, which is kind of crazy. Um, like Germany beat Kuwait, Argentina beat England, hilarious. Uh, Italy beat Switzerland, Spain beat Qatar, Portugal beat Ukraine. USA Ivory Coast was the only one that was small team versus small team. Like Saudi Arabia lost to Holland and then France lost to Russia, like beat Russia. So I was hoping Turkey would get far. Ah, uh, yeah, Turkey didn't have the best of uh, tournaments, to be fair, um, seeing as um, they didn't qualify. <laughs> what the fuck? Did, I, did they not qualify this time around? Um, did I just, was that right? They just didn't qualify. Um, yeah, they didn't qualify. They they came second in their qualifying group, but just weren't weren't good enough. Um, yeah, there you go. Missed out by uh, one point in qualification. Well, one point in two goals. Um, yeah. <laughs> Turkey missed out and they were in the finals of the Euros the year before. <laughs> uh, Grin banned uh, from match. Alright. Squad. Rest everybody up. And on to the next. Oh, you Christ. Oh, now we've got the Premier League Cup semi final. So all of our players are going to be away on international. I need to look up actually when the qualifiers are to see um, when. What's it called? Um when our players are back so I can like rest them and stuff. Um let's look. Because I know a bunch will play on the first time. Yeah, qualifying. So the thirteenth, the fourteenth, the fifteenth, the sixteenth, the seventeenth, the eighteenth. And we play on the twentieth. So we do have a day where they all get back from, so hopefully that should be enough. Um Alright. Some anger negotiation. Uh, that. Right. Well, we do. Oh, I don't even know when it starts. Was it the, the 10th? No, the 12th? I don't know. I'll have to figure it out. Well, we'll just see when we go. Um, okay. 2.5. go. Go. Good stuff. Right. Okay. 
But we'll see who will be qualifying for the Euros here at the end of the year. Um, and then, obviously, we'll see who goes into the playoff. It will happen in March. Um, but let's see. Ooh, Arsenal with a big loss there, actually, to Chelsea. Okay, getting wound in a little bit by Chesterfield. It might not be a, a walk in the park for them yet. Elvis. No, I'm not, I'm just, I don't care that much. Um, about signing Elvis. <laughs> Okay, let's see. Oh, no, he doesn't even want to talk to me. I can't believe this. Oh, fuming, fuming. Right then. Um, oh, Welsh Cup match. Okay, we've we got Newtown in the Welsh Cup. Braga, Galatasaray at home, Braga away. Okay, okay. Right. Oh, save coming in as well. Oh, it hasn't obviously you haven't saved in a while. Interesting. Well then. We continue onwards. Um hopefully. Hello, Duck God. How are you? How's it, how's things going? Um Okay. <laughs> I'm following this uh Kaiserslaughter and Chalka game, and Kaiserslaughter have had two players sent off now? What is going on in that game? Like, oh my god. <laughs> Jesus Christ. It's, it's a bit mental. <laughs> uh, hold on. I need to f figure out what the hell's happening in that. Twitter, because I'm like... I, I saw that the goalkeeper got sent off, and then someone else got sent off. It's just like, Jesus. Um, goodness. <laughs> Oh, both Alpha Tower and Williams are said to be interested in IndyCar driver Alex Paolo. Interesting. Okay. Cool. I've been lurking from the start. Ah, I, I did see your name in 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 the list, Dark God. Actually, but you didn't say hello. But how are you? How have you been? I'm gonna go five and five for for Rias. He's actually decent enough. Um, anything? No, nothing as of yet. Okay. okay good stuff. Come on. Cool. Um, Yurich. What? Black Hole Yurich? Oh, he, he's. What? Oh, he's Canadian Croatian. <laughs> okay. Sure. I was like sitting there going, what the fuck? I thought you were, you were Croatian. But okay. Okay. All right. Back up. All right, let's go. Yeah, hot prospect. Give him like 3.2. I think he'll probably want quite a lot more. Yeah, 10 and a half. Yeah, why not? Good stuff. Okay, let's we'll go. Let's see. Okay, cool. There we go. Okay, just got wind at both ends. <laughs> Jippy tummy and waterworks infection. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> That's very not good. Very worrying. Okay, Czech Republic strike lucky. Oh, that's not good for Wales. Okay, so the 13th, we see Ukraine beat Belarus. Liechtenstein, Luxembourg is 1-1. We can't even click on that one. Czech Republic beat Wales 3-0. Switzerland draw with the Netherlands. Austria, Armenia draw as well. Israel win. France do beat Croatia. Does that mean they go above them now? No, it doesn't. Wow, okay. Due to... The fact that Croatia have an away goal. That's how. So Croatia need to match the result and they'll finish top. Wow. Good start to the Champions League qualifications. Let's have a look. That's big. That is really big, actually. Um, was there any more games? No, that was it. 12-1. Wow. Yeah, that's pretty decent. Pretty decent, isn't it? Chris Gardner having 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 goals. Christ alive. I've only had that like three times in my entire FM15 career, I think. I've only had a player score 10. Like, it was Gaspar Baranoevo did it 
twice, I think, and Florentino, who's only done it once, hilariously. But I think that's, yeah. I've had a few players, I've definitely had players have nine, um, but uh, only only three three times have I had 10, and there's only two players have done it. 10 bloody goals by my strike. Yeah, Jesus, 10 goals, well done. Oh, and there we go. World Cup qualifying starting in South America because it always starts so early, so early. Getting ready for 23-10 uh, South Africa. Oh, Blythe Spartans getting a takeover. Oh, what the fuck? Interrail and Catania both injured. Oh, for God's sake. More qualification. Euros, let's see what happens. Um, so, let's see. Cyprus win, Serbia win, Mon uh, Turkey win. Russia win and Greece draw. That's really bad for Greece, actually. Yeah, it means I think Russia... Well, Greece need to win their game in hand now. Belgium win and Albania win. Then we see Denmark win, Northern Ireland win, Portugal win, Bosnia win, Sweden... Sweden beat Spain for the second time. Oh, my God. Sp Sweden have lost to Bosnia and Herzegovina and Slovakia and then drawn with Bosnia and Herzegovina and Farans, but beaten Spain twice and will finish second because of it. Sweden, you fucking bottle jobs. Italy win, Poland win over Romania. Oh no, and Romania have bottled it as well. Wow. I have not played 23 yet. Still have not yet to play 23. I just haven't bought it. Never bought it. He's also bugged because he's not that great. Also signed from Sheffield FC. Phil Guilty has 51 goals in 52 appearances for us, according to total career set. Well, some, some players, like we had Pog as one of our first strikers. His stats weren't very... Sorry, his attributes weren't very good. There you go, Nizzy. Um, his attributes were shit, but he still scored for, for fun. He was just one of those players that you just play him because he just keeps scoring. You don't look at his attributes or his star rating. You just go, no, you just play. You just go play and you go look at his You look at his stats and you go, oh, wow, he's got 10 in 10. You just keep playing him. Um, yeah, well, I know exactly what kind of striker uh, you've got you got there. <laughs> All right, so due to work permit. So the 18th should be the last games here. We should look at our squad actually now and see who's back. See if, because obviously certain clubs, na nations already got eight games played or 10 games played. So uh, they're sorted. Okay. Also throw back to the riot in front of SI. The reason is because we want total stats, not league stats to show up. Very true. Very true. I don't understand why why that's the case. Okay, Wales smashed by Ukraine there. Definitely out of the Euros now. Czech Republic win. Belarus win. Ukraine win. Macedonia win. Netherlands win over Austria. France win. And Croatia do win. So that means... Croatia top the group. They do. They do. Wow. France did smash it though. Um, I think they probably will get in second there. Because it's like, I think nine out of the 10 second place teams go through. Um, let's look at the squad. See who we've got back at the moment. Okay, we've got a good few players back. Addition? We've got a good few players back. No, Bruno Martin. Oh, he's getting come back for his injury. We don't have any players back. Never mind. We got no players back. Bruno Martin's only back because uh, cause he was injured. Like for the love of God, they just released FM24 as, as a less bucky FM23. That the headline feature, we can actually say massive improvement. That's very true. Very true. <laughs> I don't know why it doesn't have that. Like, why Why is it only league stuff? I don't know. It's very weird. Um, it's very odd. Very, very odd. Okay. Well, then. Um, right. Final day of game. Oh, Christ. Who's that injured? Okay. No, no one. Sunday. So one more game. Yeah, one more day. Serbia win. Montenegro win. Turkey win. Hungary and Greece do win. Slovenia win. Belgium draw with Albania. My goodness. I don't see what's going on in these these, these games. Wilson needs a uh, work permit. Okay. Now, do they get back on the 19th, hopefully? And then I can rest them. And then they can hopefully be ready to play at least some of them will be um for the next game but we'll see right um, 
Okay, it's more in the mud v2 injured. It is final group game, so he's out too. That's three of our starters injured in this round of games. Portugal lost to Denmark 4-2. Oh my days. Northern Ireland win, Lithuania win. Spain win 10-0. Bosnia-Herzegovina win 3-0. Italy win 4-0. Bulgaria win. Iceland win and Germany win. Let's have a look at this then. So, Serbia qualified. Top the group there. Denmark qualify and top the group. Portugal only 22 points. Interesting. Kind of wish qualification goals didn't count for the Champions League Golden Boot because my strike on 11 from two games. The second goal with the most is on two. Um, I, 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 I think they don't count though. They don't count in the Golden Boot because whenever like, you see it, like, whenever, well, at least in FM15, like, you'll see right at the start they'll have... Does it, does it still... Like, I think... I don't know. They used to, like, they, they would count. They'd be there. But when it comes to the golden boot at the end, it just wouldn't count them. So it counted them, like, in the stat, but not in the awards, weirdly enough. But, okay, yeah. So Denmark qualify. Ukraine qualify over Czech Republic. Wales miss out. Greece qualify over Russia. Hungary miss out. Spain qualify over... Sweden come third, man. They beat Spain twice. Wow. Netherlands top their group. Belgium top their group, with, even with a couple of draws at the end. Croatia top the group over France. Italy top the group over Romania. And then Germany, eight wins from eight there. So let's look at the second place teams. Scotland miss out. Oh, wow. So France, Turkey, Czech Republic, Russia, Switzerland, Portugal, Bosnia and Herzegovina, Slovenia, yeah, Romania, and Scotland miss out. And then we got to see about, I don't know when the draw for the European... Um, Playoff is done on the 2nd of November, of December. Okay. Have my squad back? My squad's back. At least half my squad. A few of my squad is back. Let's rest up players here. Rest rest all you up. Um, rest you up. Okay. A very interesting Euros. I guess the main, like, there's no big team missing out because it's very hard to miss the Euros because if you're not going to, like, the nine of the ten teams in second place go up. So as long as you don't get third, you're fine. Um, right. Is my squad back now? There's a few players. Not into round is injured. Okay. I don't think my players are getting back in time, which is not good. Malta manager to leave their post. Oh, no. Not the Malta manager. What are we going to do? Um, good stuff. Right, but somehow they they'll have all of their players back in time. I just don't get it. Russia being Australian are friendly. Like there's people playing friendlies. Look, look at all these friendlies that mean nothing. Why are they playing still? Why are you playing? Oh, just ruining my fucking Premier League Cup run. Right. Well, this is gonna be a tough one, boys. Hopefully. Um. Like, why are Wales, Wales playing a friendly there, man? We got terrible TNS. Oof. TNS got to the semi final there. So, leader in the final. I don't think we'll get there. Is the World Cup qualifying for Africa is going ahead, though? Um, and then some more, more, more World Cup qualifying for the other other places. Okay. Luis Goni is a new World Premier League Cup record. Wow. He's already broken it. Karai to Puzz. Wow. That's a throwback. This is a, an Afan Lido strike I used to have. He was. Uh, German Turkish. I think he won a couple Ballon d'Ors with when I was with Afan Lido with him. Sold him for a good amount of money, actually, I remember. Um da, 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 da. Does it say? No. Did he win the World Cup with Germany though? He was very good. They're always bald though, they're always made bald. Oh, is this more players coming back? We have a few more players back, but not enough, sadly. We'll have to see what team we can put up against this elite, this have for West side. Hopefully they have players out too. But we'll see. We will see. Right. Let's go. Team selection. What can what kind of team can we put out here? I don't I'm not 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 hopeful, you know. <laughs> Not hopeful. So, Christ alive. Borbos, Bololau, Merlo, Giuseppe, Resign, Akinade, 
Rodriguez, men on Poggia, Sebastian on Wardo. And the bench is a bit shocking, you know. Why would you put Luis Go? Oh, Luka, that's why. Bruno Martin's still injured. Inseraude still injured. Sapuga? Surely you put him on the Myers there. Maybe you put Maya in over. Canade? No, put a Canade in there. Christ. Um, well, this is going to be a tough one, lads. <laughs> Okay, well then, let's... Oh, why is Carrieri not playing? Is he because he's really tired? Let's have a look. No, they just want Giuseppe starting. Okay. Well, let's go for this game then. Let's see how things go. Um, have they got the first team out is the question. Hunt. Okay, you're not good enough for England. Goolsworthy. Okay, you're shit. You're, you're good. You're back for Greece. Doherty. You're old. Probably retired. Drenth is good. Maybe not good enough for Netherlands. Pasquale. Not good enough for Spain, but good. R Ramos is good. Peña's good, but not good enough for Spain. Roger. Good. Not good enough for the Belgium. or back already. And Brazilian, but not good enough for Brazil. So the, the annoying thing is that their players are like good, but not good enough to be internationals. So a lot of them aren't. The striker situation, they're pretty poor in the up top, but thankfully. But it's going to be a weird one. This is going like, uh, I don't know. It's going to be a tough one, lads. I don't know if we're going to get, this might be a loss here, you know. We'll have to see how things go. To mark everybody up. And pray luck is on our side tonight. Um, we do at least have Poggia. Christ, everyone's not happy. Um, but let's go. Let's see if we can win this. Lots of tired players out there as well, annoyingly. Probably it would help if we actually... Have, the three of our starters are injured too, which doesn't help things. But, okay. Drenth with a free kick. Oh my god, I thought Carrieri nearly bobbled it into his own goal. Oof. Not the start you want. Oh yeah, re playing a left back is not what you want either, by the way. <laughs> um, but... Guess what? We've got what you you got to do what you got to do when they schedule an international break during the middle of a semi-final of a cup. Like Jesus Christ, man. Man on. Oh, just bar. Okay. A lot of a lot of possession for Haver for West so far, which is not good. And Resign completely missing the ball there. Rodriguez interception does well there. And he, counter attack could be on. Wardo, go on. Oh, he's at the post. Oh, Wardo, come on, lad. Free kick, have a west. Oh, just wide again. We're not defending from the from the free kicks well. We're missing all the headers. Men on free kick. <gasps> Wardo! Wardo, you fucking idiot! Oh, that's two chances now he's binned. Oh, my God. All you had to do was put it, like, past one side of the goalkeeper. For God's sake, man. We should be up. We should be up. Poggia, go on, lad. Oh, wall with the big save. Wardo to take the, the corner. I guess you're not. You can't miss chance if you're taking the corner. <laughs> uh, Wardo, mate, you you you've been poor. You've been two miss clear cut chances already. Not good enough. This is why you don't play. This is why you. This is why you're a bench player. Oh no, Pasquale Carriera, the good start, good save. Get creative. Come on, lads. Drenth. <laughs> Hunt, Doherty, Rodriguez, Sebastião. Been very quiet today. Sebastião coming forwards. Merlo. Okay, out for a throw in. <clears throat> okay, highlight over. Half time. All men on free kick. It's the wall. Men on still on the ball. Tyrant manager. Look, there's there's a reason why we've won ten Champions League in a row. <laughs> Wardo on the ball. Pulls it back to Rodriguez. He's tackled and Ramos will clear. Okay. And that's half time. I'm going to say I'm far from pleased. And we'll go again. And hopefully we can get a goal in the second half. But, oof. Not, not, not. Oh. Order, mate. Come on, lad. Play now. Play. Merlo's like 34. He's an old man on the on the right back position there. Poggia. Poggia. Go on. Get in. Yes. Into the danger zone goal. Good stuff. Good stuff. Men on. Into Poggia. And he finishes well there. Thank God. Thank God. Oh, Christ. They've got a danger zone. Oh. 
We've won the ball. Oh, and it's cleared. Contulas. Ramos. That's Contulas. Pascual. Ooh, over the bar. Okay. Oh, another chance here. Pena. Pascual. Pena. Drenth. Doherty. Contulas. Hunt. Oh, that's a goal. For God's sake. Danger zone. Literally. Into all, the danger just zone. Highlight after highlight after our goal there. Terrible defending. I don't know what. Like, it just. It, the game was just like, oh, yeah, no, we're just going to keep attacking until, until you score. I don't know who. what Who's marking him there? Buello. But Bulalau? Bulalau? I don't know. But see, now we're going to get more chances now. Now that's 1 1 again. Merlo, Rodriguez. Unless, well, hopefully we do. Wardo. Sebastiao. It falls through to Poggia. <laughs> He's offside. Off, how is he offside? How is he offside? Doesn't even show me the replay for it, but I don't think he was. Jesus Christ, that's delayed. <laughs> that's very delayed, Duck God. Is that just how far delayed we are? Or, like, my goodness. Or is that... It works, I guess, for the disallow goal. But... All right. It's, we've got half an hour left here. I don't want to go to extra time because players are already tired. But that doesn't mean I want to lose, boys. Carry every the claim. Reese Hind on the left. Go on, lad. Rodriguez. Tom Wardo. Sebastiao. Oh, whoa, come on. Ugh. Should be three. There should be a, a second goal there. And they've got the ball now. Drenth. Pasquale. Drenth or oh, Rodriguez. Oh, go on. Rod Sebastiao. Oh my fucking god. It wasn't even close. It wasn't even close. It wasn't even close. Bianchi, Bianchi, come on, mate. Like, Jesus fucking Christ. That was way worse than Waters. At least Waters was fucking close, man. Jesus Christ, fella. Like, what are you doing? What, what, what is going on there? Like, oh my god. It was just miles. It wasn't even near the frame. Like, Christ. I can't believe how bad that was. Like, he's he's a, f a professional footballer. Like, what? Oh, at least... <sighs> Jesus, man. I'm tempted to sell him right in there. Right in there. Wardo! Oh, nearly. I actually can't believe he's missed that that badly. From that from that position, he was one-on-one -on -one with a goalkeeper, and he's absolutely shit his pants. <sighs> More strikers just being awful for some reason. For no reason apparent at the moment. Ten minutes to go here. Can we get a winner? Come on, Poggia. You need to t put the team on your back, fella. Rodriguez was one of the only senior players at the, at the moment in the team. Okay, seven minutes to go. Men on. Rodriguez. Men on two. You need to put your team on your back, fella. Oh, he's lost out there. And the counter-attack's on, Hunt. Oh, Pascual. Ball boss, great. Well done. Ironic when I'm best at finishing IRL. Tom Warder, go on! Oh, he's missed it again. F three clear-cut chances. You've you're on a six-point-one Wardo. You're on a. I can't even bring in a striker on because there's no one on the bench to play striker because you've been so fucking shit. God damn it, Wardo. Oh, I just have to keep you on, just playing like dog shit. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Oh God. <laughs> that was a harder one. I don't know. I don't think that was a clear-cut chance, but. For, for the for the oh Rodriguez oh! oh Rodriguez he's showing you how to do it first goal of the season what a goal I think that's his first ever goal for us too Rodriguez what a goal oh beautiful oh no I I didn't boys just keep it keep it dog here go on lad oh no oh. Come on. Hey, man, it's not really me, you know. <laughs> I know, I know, Wardo. Oh, no. I'm, I'm not shouting at you. I'm shouting at Tom Wardo, the footballer, down here. <laughs> it's never directed at you. <laughs> that's that's, that's uh, a Wardo right now. When he misses, his, his regen misses the third clear-cut chance. <laughs> uh, 15 seconds to go. I think we've got through it. I think we've got through it. Please, for the love of God, just end the game. Come two less. Get in. Yes. <sighs> I feel like I've aged 100 years then. 
Congratulations there, Jake. 6.2 for the... Look, Sebastian, like, what? Composure. He got 30... Like, like he's 20... He's got two goals for Brazil, and he made that sort of finish. I honestly feel like selling him after... Right, he's, he's got interest. Go, down, go downstairs with my headphones. Water your fucking shit. Wait, what? <laughs> uh, oh, Christ alive. Well, we got through it. Thankfully, through that ordeal... And we're uh, into the Premier League Cup final, which is good, which is good. Goni's got eight goals. Bloody hell, he's smashing it. I, guess, I don't think we can even rest these guys because they've already, already been rested once. These guys we can rest. But can I, who else is let here? Okay, no. Right. Premier League Cup semi-final, we're playing Lido. How many Welsh trebles have you won? <laughs> Christ, a, a good amount, a good amount to be honest. I don't know how many, but like, if we look at like the Premier League Cup, like we, well, I guess if we go to like, I don't know, Hall of Fame with Barry, we've won 45 Premier League Cups, 47 Welsh Cups and 59 Prems. So maximum 45? But it wouldn't be because I don't think you like you never know if you win the cup and that like we won a Premier League Cup a couple of years back, but not the Welsh Cup. So maximum would be forty five. I would guess maybe thirty five, maybe forty at maximum. Uh travels. Because sometimes you don't win the Welsh Cup. Like if we look at the, the Welsh Cup, we obviously we didn't win it. Um that like 96, 96, 95, 93, 69, like we didn't win it a lot at the start. So maybe I'd say 30 to 35 trebles. Oh, excuse me. Apologies. Feeling very tired today. Um, okay. Let's see. Let's get ready to go. Um, okay. Right. This last one goes, two years in a row, I've lost the chance of two trebles back to back by losing the League Cup. Oh, that sucks, man. That does suck. Yeah, no, Premier League Cup's tough sometimes just due to that fucking semi-final, but we're, we're, we're good. Ben White just asked for a new contract, 175k. Oof. Uh, that's one of the things I don't know if I'd be able to handle in the new FMs, just how high the wages are. Like, my highest player at the moment, let's have a look, is on... Um, contract, maybe. Contract. 105,000? Wait, hold on. Yeah. I've got three players on 100,000 or more, and that's Jambo, Rakesudar, and MMM. And that's it. I don't I don't think I'll be able to handle players asking for 300,000. I'll just be like, no. Mbappe's <laughs> on 1.1 mil. CR7's on 1.7 mil. That's fucking bonkers. That is bonkers, man. Like, Jesus. I wouldn't be able to do it. I'd just be like, no. You don't... You you don't worth that much. I can't I can't I can't give you that amount of money. Every fibre in my being says no. <laughs> That's crazy. That is crazy. Um go. Dutch play at 4 a.m. today. Will I sleep or wake up or will I stay up for it? Ooh, that is the question. If you go to sleep now, you can you can get a good like six hours in well no, not six hours. You get a good five hours in if you go to sleep now. So I, I'd say go to sleep now, Ard. Because four, four, like it's easier to wake up at 4 a.m. than it is to stay up to 4 a.m. If it was 2 a.m., I'd say stay up to 2 a.m. But staying up for 4 a.m. for the game to finish around 6 a.m. is tough. So I'd say go to bed and then wake up for 4 a.m. And then you just like go to sleep early on Sunday. Or nap midday Sunday. <sighs> okay. I have no responsibility, so I can sleep afterwards for eight hours. Well, fair enough. I'm just saying it's tough to stay up till four. I think, like the like the I think the hardest part of like doing an all night is like the th like I think around four, like I think four a.m. to the, like well three thirty to like f six a.m. Maybe like seven is the hardest bit of an all nighter because you have like the early surge where you're like. Oh, yeah, it's all going well. And you can stay up to, like, 2, 3. And then, like, after that point, like, the 4 a.m. to, like, 6 a.m., 7 a.m. shift is just the, like, oh, I'm fucking dead. And then you get a bit of second wind, and then you fall asleep later. But, like, I don't know. I think that, like, 4 a.m. to 6 a.m. area is very, very tough to stay up through. 
Um, I once stayed up two nights in a row. I can't believe I did that looking back. 4am is easy, lol. Just have a two hour nap. We'll keep sure. I I do not stay up late anymore. Like, I'm, I'm an old man. <laughs> I, I'm just like, oh, I'm tired now. <laughs> it gets to like 1 a.m. 2 a.m. I'm like, bloody hell, this is this is far too late for me. And I know, to be fair, I also I never nap. I just don't nap. I think I've had I've had less than 10 naps in my life. I I I can count on one like two hands the amount of naps I've had. I never nap. I think I remember the, one of the first times I napped, I was going to extreme food poisoning in America. Uh, that was one. I had like two or three at university. I think I had one or two here. You stream until 12 a.m. every other day. Well, yeah, but 12 a.m. is not bad. Like I'm tired, but 12 a.m. isn't two, th like 12 a.m. is not the same as 3 a.m., 4 a.m. There's a big difference between those two. Also, never take a nap. I, I, I just can't do it. My body doesn't let me. Right. Um, full squad for for, for Lido here. Um, Surreal Day, Rodriguez, Sinotti, Diaz, Carrieri. I don't know why they keep putting Giuseppe in. Old people go to bed at 10. <laughs> Niz, Nizzy's up. So Nizzy can't be old anymore. We, we have, <laughs> Nizzy's up with us all the time. Sometimes he does fall asleep, but... Right, Catania, it's a Puga they want there. Rodriguez. I think Rodriguez deserves to go again because of how well he played in that other game. Um, that's like the strikers. Mm, okay, let's go with this game. Let's go with this team. To be fair, I, uh, one of the times Nizzy always wakes up at six. I also wake up at six, but my, sometimes that's because um, my dogs wake me up. Well, no, not my dogs. Ving wakes me up. Yeah, she's been pretty good recently. I've been getting waking up at like 8.30, which is quite nice. It's a lion for me. But like I was looking at my Fitbit like trends. I was in hell at one point. Like my average sleep was like five hours. Like I was getting woken up so early by Ving every single day. And I couldn't sleep till late a lot of the time. Like I just couldn't get to sleep. And I was just like, I was running on nothing for so long. And I was like, how the hell did I get through that? Like I'm back up to like seven, eight hours average now, thankfully. But uh, I, I got into a really good state actually one time during uh, university. I think when I was um, like, it was like during exam season, I'd go to bed at like 9 p.m. And I'd wake up at like 7 a.m. And I had like, I felt it was probably the best I've ever felt in my life. I, well, I didn't feel in t terms of like stress for exams. However, I was, inc I felt incredible. I was like, oh, I got so much energy. I'm like, this is amazing. Like I'm never tired anymore. I know, I couldn't believe it. I was like, it's, it, it's the best sleep schedule. I'm like, I'd get to like not like 9 a.m., 9 p.m. and be like, oh, I'm tired. Let me go to sleep. And I just go to sleep. It was, it was, it was insane. I, I didn't have like, it was, it was kind of because I just didn't have like anything else apart from like studying to do. So I just was like, like I, I wake up at like seven, go go to uni for like eight or nine, probably nine, study until like, or, or just study my room until like six, seven. And I'd have a couple of hours of, of FM to reward myself at the end of the day. And then it'd be like nine, nine thirty, And I'd be like, right, time for bed and go to sleep. I couldn't, I, it was it was the best I've ever had. It and I never got back to that. Do people actually, there's a cheat code. I know, I know it was, it's it's ridiculous. It is ridiculous. Felipe, Jambo, oh, we've had so many chances in this game. You're the only person that went to uni that went to bed at 9 p.m. Look. Exam season does 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 weird things to people. Some people stay up all night. I somehow fix my sleep schedule. Um, to be fair, that that that's like I, I've had like my exam seasons are actually really good sometimes. Like we did so many so like I, I think we started prepping for my second year exams. We started prepping eight weeks out and we smashed it. Oh my god, Poggier. He does score. One nil. Oh, hello Matt, how are you? Um, I did ruin that, like, the, in my, like, fourth year. Like, I was out all the time in my fourth year. <laughs> but, um, yeah, like, we, we prepped. We were prepped from, like, eight weeks out. We were so ready for exams that year. I did really well. Um, and then I just couldn't get to that same level of motivation for the next years. But ended up with it first, so it's all good. No need to worry. Uh, Dransky, Tyler, Caligieri, Signs, Menon, MMM, Jambo, Foggia. Wide, way wide. Jambo puts it wide. 
We are dominating Lido here, though. Like, completely. Poor Talbot's still within three points of us. Fair play. They're keeping keeping pace at the moment. But during COVID, I remember it went before, because you had to book into the library. I did a three-day run, no sleep in there. Worst week of my life. Oh, my God. Three. Oof. That does not sound fun. That does not sound fun. I've done one. No, I've never. I actually never had to do an all-nighter. There was, there was a couple of, like... Couple of times where I'd stay till like 10, 11. My, but my recently, like when I was doing my work on my like parabolic flight project, that was like I would get up at like 6 a.m. and I'd go to work at 7 a.m. and then I'd stay until like 8, 9 p.m. and I'd come home and I'd eat dinner, I'd go to bed, and I did that for like six weeks straight. It was awful. Um, because I, I just had to finish it, I had to keep going. Um, that sucks. <laughs> that sucked a lot. Um, it was literally, I was literally like, I, I wake up, I go to work, I come home, I eat, and I go sleep. Oh, what a save. Okay, missed it, actually. Um, I love test week in middle school. Only two out of three hours a day for one and a half weeks is amazing when you don't study anything. <laughs> I did not enjoy it because I fucking had to study so much stuff because I had so many exams and it was just like, try Like, it was, it was, oh, well done. Second goal. You love to see it. it oh, Caligari. Agent Caligari. It's one of those things, though. It's like, you're not actually, like, learning. You're just memorizing. Because as soon as, like, the exam was finished, that all that information's gone. It's just, no, don't remember any, anymore. It's gone. It's out of the head. Because I need to focus on the next exam. What's this, Wardo? Halftime hits 2-0. Ooh, okay. Ooh, a game in hand with... Ooh, good luck. Good luck. Very close one at the top. Oh, poor Burnley. Burnley not doing so well down the bottom. <laughs> okay. Right, 2 0. I'm very happy. Okay. Felipe. And 20th home next game. We're going to save it there. Fair enough. Fair enough. Alright. Second half. Oh, they switched formations. No, they haven't. Just checking. <laughs> right. Felipe. Pagoni to Borbos. Menon. Triansky. Signs. Poggia. That's offside, surely. No, oh, it's not. Oh, my God. Okay. Fantastic. You'd love to see it. you absolutely love to see it. Okay. Good stuff. Oh, they've made some changes there. Goni's coming off for Jose. And a midfielder change as well. Okay. Um, right. There we go. Okay. Signs. Jamba. Ooh. Okay. Nearly. Menon, Rodriguez, Signs, Hogia. Right, okay, Jorge, oh, Ramirez, of course. All coming on as a striker. Interesting. Okay, okay. Right. Oh, Signs has picked up a knock, though. Uh, Sapuga. Sure, why not? Water's not coming on because I'm punishing him for, <laughs> for how bad he played in the last game. Jambo, man on the, the fourth would properly kill this game. Jambo misses out there, and oh, Troyansky can't tackle Ramirez, doesn't win the ball. <sighs> shocking, shocking. Troyansky's actually had two bad games in a row now. The, the headers to Celtic, and then the, that that whatever the hell happened there. Oh, for God's sake, Troyansky, shocking. Well then, maybe the, the the system manager is right with putting Luis Carlos in ahead of him. Uh, Ogier, three. Nearly an immediate response. 20 minutes to go with a two-goal lead. You'd hope that we can hold on here um, that with how well we've played, seeing as they've only had two shots on target the whole game. Jambo, MMM hits the bar. MMM's been a bit innocuous this game as well. 6.3 for Jambo. Apparently, he's had a shocker, and I didn't even notice. I guess he got was on the ball a lot, and he just hasn't done anything with it. Triansky, it's cleared. Borbos wins it. Sapuga, Rodriguez. Jambo. Plays in Felipe. Can he put a ball in? He does, and MMM misses it. There was no actually transfer 
uh, rumors with Skeet. Say you were say, playing 23, no world record save, and hated the new UCL format when you tried it. Would you go back to the old FM because of the format? Um, I think I'd probably just play it a bit more to get used to it. And and just, oh, there we go. Boar Boss makes it ball. I'll probably just play it a bit more to get used to it. Um, or I'd play, maybe go play somewhere else for a while. But maybe go back to 22. I don't know. I don't know, to be honest. I, I quite I, I like the idea of trying out the new UCL format to see how it is. Because it seems quite fun, actually. Um, in my opinion. But if you hate it, you hate it. You know? Depends. Like, it's, it's like is, is, the, is the pros of 23 outweigh um, the cons sort of thing? Like the pro, like the con of the... Like, is there anything good that will make you want to play it over 22 compared to the badness of the UCL format? But uh, two minutes to go here in this game. Sapuga. Diaz. Sapuga. Over to Rodriguez. Oh, okay. It's cleared. But we will be winning this game. And it makes it a perfect 10 of 10 in the league so far. Very, very nice. Okay, we've recovered well after that. Oh, uh, I've got two games in hand to play still. So Penny Bond. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Well then. Rodriguez. Diaz. Puga, Diaz, oh, nearly makes it five, nearly makes it five. Okay. All right. Okay. Skeet, okay. One minute to go, Tyler. Skeet, men on with a good tackle there. Skeet. Into Rod Ramirez. He's offside. Okay. And I think this should be game, surely. Oh, no. <laughs> four teams after 10 games have only got one win. Well, there's a, a couple with nine games. But only f the four teams have only got one win. Jesus. Right then. Nice win there. Nice win. 4-1 win. My opinion, 22 is better. Like, average rating um, wise and gameplay. Goalkeepers and defenders are point comparison 23 to 22 at the new license. Okay. Fair enough. Well, it's up, at the end of the day, it's your, you're up, to, up to you as to which one you go for. Goitra beat half of West 2-1 there. What? Oh, my God. Um, right. There we go. And <laughs> speaking of going to sleep early, I think I'm going to call it early. I have been having troubles uh, just, like, heartburn and talking a lot. Um, so I think I'm going to call it early tonight. Apologies for that, lads. But it's still a couple of hours. Two out of three hours done. So we're going to call it there for tonight. I'll be back on Tuesday, hopefully feeling a little better. Um, but in the meantime, let's go find someone to uh, send all you guys into. Uh, let's go find... Let's go raid Exos. Um, Jabba's probably in there, um, to be fair. But, uh, oh, that's... that's. Hold on, hold on. How do you spell it? Oh, yeah. There we go. Right. So, yes. Apologies for the short finishing tonight. But I uh, appreciate all you for coming out. It was a good stream. Um, we got a good few wins. One draw, unfortunately. But some good wins otherwise and some good chat. So, I will see all of you on Tuesday. Have a good evening. Have a good rest of your weekend, everybody. And I'll see all of you later. See you, everybody.